Clark Farm es una granja de 1,500 acres, ubicada en Katambale, distrito de Kenyoyo, en Uganda. En Clark Farm, la plantación de café robusta ocupa aproximadamente la mitad de la granja. Los otros cultivos incluyen eucalipto, macadamia, papa irlandesa, maíz, mangos y naranjas. A pesar de que las plantaciones ocupan el mayor porcentaje de su productividad, ellos buscan diversificar sus actividades con alternativas que no generen mucho impacto en la granja y se puedan complementar con sus activos principales. En este caso, estamos hablando de producción de miel y de huevos. La producción de miel o apicultura es una actividad que se realiza a nivel global, siendo un negocio muy rentable, que además contribuye a la polinización de las plantas y cultivos como el café y enriquece la biodiversidad en las fincas. En Clark Farm quisieron implementar la apicultura entendiendo los beneficios que podría traer a su granja cafetera. Lilian, una residente de la finca y líder del proyecto, nos comparte cómo lo desarrollan allí. Me, I'm called Kawasita Lilian. I'm the APR supervisor at Clark's farm. I'm the one in charge of the bees course. I did beekeeping as a course, and I was employed here as a beekeeper. <laughs> What I like most about the bees is honey. We are using this type of, of beehives because, first of all, we haven't got the machines, like for those lungs short. These ones you can use local method while processing honey, but for lung stress, that one you need a machine, which you haven't got. Th these ones we up on those behind, on those have we having top bars. On those top bars, it's, it's where they construct their combs. They 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 construct according the way we have baited that top bar. The inspection, we normally do it in the night. We use a torch for light. Okay, it's like this. When, when I go on a hive, I first light a smoker. After lighting a smoke, I put on a bee shoot. After setting myself, I go on a hive, I approach it, I start smoking first before opening. Then after smoking, I remove the top cover. After removing the top cover, I first make a slight knock on, on top of the top bars to make sure that the bees are aware that there's something going to take place. Then from there, I, I start opening from behind, not from the entrance. Yeah, like that. After opening, I remove like one to two top bars, I first smoke inside. First thing is like the same. You have, we go approach the hive, we smoke. After smoking, we go on removing a top bar by top bar as you're looking for the ripe honey. We put it in, in a bucket. After harvesting, yeah. I do process it. I process, I process it using the local method, <laughs> whereby I get it, a clean, what I call it, a stick, a clean stick. I start pressing that one in a bucket, yeah. After I get a clean one, I tie there a sieving cloth. In total, we have 61 beehives. 61? Yeah. Colony, so far we are having 53. Like uh, of recent, the last harvest, we got 45 kgs. Four months. <music> Después de entender cómo funciona una producción apícola, el manejo y las medidas que se deben tomar antes de manipular las abejas, es importante también saber el medio en el que se van a tener. Lilian nos explica un poco del entorno 
y de dónde obtienen el néctar para producir la miel. Okay, the area should be the, the vegetation around. Yeah, vegetation, a water source, and it should not be near homes. Yeah. Okay, they get their forage from different forage plants whereby they can get they get from coffee plantation. We have also some flowers which are planted there. Some are foraging, some haven't started. Even those trees nearby, they also get from there. Even we do the feeding, whereby we use sugar syrup. Our honey here, we sell it from here. Some people, they also come from outside and buy. Como mencionamos antes, en Clark Farm han procurado el diversificar sus productos a pesar de que el café es su principal activo en la finca. También hay una cantidad importante de acres donde se cultiva el maíz. Este maíz lo utilizan para alimentar a los trabajadores que viven en la granja. También lo venden y por último destinan una buena cantidad para alimentar a sus aves de corral. Clark Farm tiene unos corrales donde crían gallinas productoras de huevos. Con este producto también alimentan a sus trabajadores y aparte los venden. Para explicarnos más sobre este proceso hablamos con Wilson. Él es el encargado del proyecto de las gallinas. Escuchemos lo que nos comparte sobre esta actividad. My, my name is Ogu Wilson. I'm a poultry manager. I'm working in Clark Farm. Now we are, we are this is a brooder house. So we have 4,080 chicken. The use of our chicken purposely for eggs. So our chicken the life is eight weeks. After eight weeks, then we sell them. Ah, uh, the food, we are using maize, sunflower, cotton cake, uh, premixes, uh, cotton cake, then that's the food we are using. Uh, 300, the eggs we expect in our chicken, three, 352 each chicken per year. Our chicken, we used to give the temperature at uh, 32 up to 36. No, we don't allow our chicken to go out because it will bring disease in the farm. So we don't allow our chicken to go out until we offlay them. Wilson nos ha brindado un breve resumen del estado actual del proyecto de aves de corral de la granja actualmente. Para Clark Farm, la sanidad en sus procesos es muy importante y por eso adoptan medidas obligatorias a la hora de tener contacto con las gallinas y los pollos. Wilson nos comparte estas medidas. One, we have to vaccinate our chicken in program. And we don't allow rock chicken to enter in our farm. And the, the visitors, we don't allow them to come legally in our farm. They first ask for the permission to come in our farm. That is our protection. Uh, so the disinfectant we are using in our farm, Kero disinfectant, and we have Biosafe and uh, Vilkil. These are the disinfectant we are using in our farm. Me, 
I've worked here four years. After working here, I have my small business which can help me to push out my job. Since I come in Clark Farm, so my life has changed a bit. Because he gave me a money which can help me in my life. I have my family. I have a wife and two kids, a boy and a girl. A bit, this job helped me to help to pay school fees for them. Uh, they are not bad. They are okay, according to my family. They are healthy. Finalmente agradecemos a Clark Farm, a Lillian y a Wilson por compartir con nosotros los procesos que están liderando. Clark Farm, más que una granja productora de café, maíz y otros cultivos, es un espacio donde se protege la biodiversidad y se brinda bienestar a la comunidad.